Hello. Today I'd like to talk and do a an, uh, growth update on this uh, Darth Maul, possibly a sunbird zoanthid, after doing some more research on it. Uh, as you can see there, you clearly have a full polyp extension from the original polyp, and now I actually have a second polyp that is almost fully formed. It's starting to color up really nice and just kind of give the tank a very nice bright orange look to it um, as far as, you know, just adding some more different kind of color diversity to my tank. So uh, I'm ecstatic because I got this little single polyp for free from my local fish store last Black Friday and two months later, or just over two months later, uh, it is doing not only just surviving but thriving and doing very well in my tank uh, you know with the second polyp there and as well uh, it's hard to see it from this angle we'll see if I can get it from over here there is if you look down there a little third polyp forming under that first big one that's there it's kind of hard to see from at the moment but I will post further updates there as far as what this zoanthid coral is doing so, as the saying goes, you can't be free, and this one's definitely delivering, and then some for being a free coral. So, anyways, that's kind of the how the zoanthid has progressed. If you take a look at that first video I posted on Black Friday, I mean, you can't even see the original polyp fully extended at that point. Uh, just a tiny little dot, really no color in it. And now it's totally blossomed out and uh, sent out a second shoot and even working on a third one as far as a third polyp. So I should have, if things continue and persist and my coral beauty doesn't decide to be a pain in the butt, uh, it should be a little zoanthid colony starting to grow here, which will be cool. Um, so anyways, that's just kind of a growth update on this little tiny zoanthid that I got for free and once again it's doing a great job at uh, growing and that's all I've got and thanks for watching